Hello, it's Sarah, and I'm going to share with you guys today the inter introduction to a piece I'm going to be making. I want to make, those of you who watch my channel know, I had a little bird. Her, her name was Kiwi, and she passed, and we buried her in the yard. So I want to make her a little headstone. So what I've been doing is researching what I need to do to make a stone, a literal stone, for outside. And um, so it's just going to be a little bit different from what I've done here. Now these are just projects that I did. Um, I used Weld Bond as my adhesive, which is just a white glue, and it's what you can use on mosaics indoors. So for any mosaic like this guy, so he's not going outside or anything. He's just a little piece. I actually got the substrate at the Dollar Tree. And I glued down each piece of tesserae, which is just the glass or... These are actually um, millefiori. I have ball chain in here. And it holds really well. It's a great... Um, it says for wood tile, glass, foam. Anyway... It's water-based, so I also like it because I can clean up with soap and water. Um, and uh, then you just would, after it's all dry, so you give it a good 24, 24 hours, and then you can grout it. And I've been using, and I have videos on the channel about that. Um, grout it with a, I believe I use sanded grout for this. Um, anywho, I, it's not going to go outside, so it should be fine, because if... I were to just hang this on a fence outside or something, the water would seep in and it would start to de-evolve, it would de-dissolve the glue and it would fall apart probably. And the sun does something to it as well. So, same thing with these rocks. Um, just watching YouTube videos, um, used the weld bond as my adhesive, so I just drew a little heart out and glued down the ball chain first and then cut up this pink tile and really placed it in there and then I just grouted with regular um, grout that you would use in any tile project around the house. I, I use the premix grout. Um, and on this one I just wanted to share, I can see, let me come in a little bit, I definitely, I taped these off as well. I used painter's tape so when I was grouting I had painter's tape up against the ball chain so that when I put the grout on, I didn't have to be too careful that I wouldn't get it on the rock. And I don't remember if I sealed the rocks. I don't remember. Um, so I'm just learning a bit more about how this stuff works and how to preserve your piece because you don't want to put all this work into it and then, you know, either give it away or use it outside and then it just falls apart you know so had to do a little research this one though I can see where my glue see those shiny parts that's just the glue that dried um, so you know I don't know why I think this has a much more rounded surface so I might have put a little more glue on there so that it would hold it so the chain didn't roll off um, and I don't I can't promise you that if I really pushed on this, I don't want to because I don't want to break it, that it wouldn't come off the rock, you know, but I mean, it is pretty thick. It's up under the ball chain, so I, I that's probably what it is. I just put it on really thick, but then right here, there's a gap where I probably could have put um, grout. I could have filled that in with some grout, um, but these are just for my home. They're in the Zen Den. They're with my plants. And they were just fun little projects to do. I did a couple other um, heart, a bigger heart rock. Um, but let me show you what I'm going to. I have three rocks. And it was so cool. Yesterday it was gorgeous out here. I'm in South Jersey. But this one, you can see compared to this, how big that is. So I was able to go to a supplier that's right down the road for me. And I can't think of the name of it. Um, anyhow, this is called River Rock, and this is the 5 to 7 inch size. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This is a 9 inch wide, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, by about 5. 
and you know I was able to go in there and pick three I got three big ones and then just these two little ones these were just really cute and I thought they're flat and they're just adorable I don't know I don't know what I'm gonna do these would be good to paint as well like if you were gonna do a um, take a rock and leave it somewhere anyway I'm probably gonna mosaic those uh, so this one specifically I mean I know it's not but that's the workspace that I have so I can do this whole area and I think I'm gonna put a little bird and her name and I think I'll do the name in ball chain um, but like if you position it this way you know that gives you another space and or if I wanted to do like say that way you know so I I was able to take my time and look at each rock and see if it was uh, gonna show up you know so I'm just gonna sit this right in the garden right where she is and just be able to have this little remembrance of her um, then I picked this one because I'm not you know I just want to be able to play around this one kinda sits pretty good um, and it, again it has a nice big so my whole palm fits on that uh, and if you roll it around a little I mean I could do it this way and it has these kinda um, dings in it and stuff so I'm gonna wash them up real good I did a brief little wash because they were quite dirty um, but I assume that I would use this side and I want I took a class with Chris Emmert online so I just bought the class and then you watch the videos and she does rocks and it's cool because you can um, glue pebbles behind it to give it a little support you know if you if your rock isn't really sitting right so that was a good tip and then here's the third one I got and they have all different types of material like some of them are dark colors some are light colors some are red um, so I mean I don't know what kind of rocks they are but like this one has like pebbly looking stuff up top like when it was oh excuse me when it was formed in the ground you know and then it's really smooth on this side like I just like this one too this is really cool but I think that first one is the perfect one but again I could do it this way it could sit like this and then I could have like a flower going across it this way um, I think that would be the two options then there's this side which it's just a little lumpy and bumpy so it would probably be this way yeah I like that that could be so cool it's very smooth too or I could stand it up like if I were going to use it in the house as a just a, on a shelf or something as a display piece I could put it like I could put welcome or something you know what I mean or just a little mosaic right there but it's so smooth um, so now that being said I also had to go and collect a few other things because like I said glue isn't going to do me out there I needed to figure out a silicone so this is called window door siding and trim easy cleanup and low odor by DAP this is clear because um, there's also something about that I heard in a video about using mirror and I love to use mirror and you have to use like a clear silica I'm not sure anyway I have to figure it out but I just bought that I bought this little bucket what else did I get oh, I needed more paint brushes because I'm gonna be painting more trim in my house <laughs> this was the other type of this is just a little um, Home Depot bucket um, for the grout like to make grout and all that this one is DAP white but it dries clear I believe I'm not positive let's see but it says a hundred percent waterproof this one says easy water cleanup so this one might not be waterproof I might return this one because I don't think I realized that um, I just wanted something clear I wanted a clear and a white so I got this one but I think I want it to be uh, waterproof because the chances are I would just use glue if it's going to be in the house but if it's going outdoors I want it to be um, crack proof 
paintable, easy water cleanup, and low order, water, um, low odor. So yeah, and I like the fact that it has like a, a tip that you could squirt it on with, but I'll also spread it on. So I'll take you through the process. I also got this. This is what I'm going to be doing in a minute. I'm going to clean these rocks off, and then I'm going to use this sealer, and I'm just going to paint it on and seal them because like I said I don't remember if I sealed these and I think if it's sealed and I know this from painting that <clears throat> it, it creates a barrier so the rock is no longer porous so say I mess up with when I'm grouting I'll be able to just pull it right off and it won't really start to grab onto the rock if that makes any sense but I, I decided I really want to seal all these pieces first just so that I know what I'm working with because it's like in painting you should really seal all your pieces and I've been lazy with the mosaics doing that and this is just a it was like a cheap one eight dollars I think for this big it's miracle sealants company stain and water resistant water base for natural stone so I'm gonna you know I'm not an expert you guys and then the denatured alcohol is um, to clean up the silicone so the silicone can get on stuff and then you just use the de denatured alcohol to get it off like even sometimes the the adhesive will squish up between the tiles if you put too much down I can just take a little bit and rub it off and get it off the tiles because um, you're gonna wanna be able to do that because I'm messy I know I'll make a mess so that's that um, I'm going to try and attempt to get back in here. I just shared another video. Hopefully I'm posting all this stuff. But, um, you know, we just redid our kitchen and not the whole kitchen, but the floors and the countertops and the tile and all that. And um, I hadn't, I couldn't get back in here. I wanted to help and we got it all done in a month. And it was so great. So, um, but I'm back. Hopefully, I will share these projects with you guys as I go. All right? So look forward to that, and thanks for watching.